Did you notice something? This dude has three arms. Good morning from St. John, New Brunswick. Today, we're gonna discover different pieces of art that you can explore right in the uptown, which is their downtown area. So let's go check out some public art. All right, so the first piece of art I wanna show you today is here at the St. Andrew's Bicentennial Square. They have these life-size human uh, pieces of art. And on top of that, you'll notice something funny with this guy in the green. This guy in the green, you'll notice he has one arm, he has two arms, this buddy has two arms. So he has one arm, he has two arms. Let's just walk around here. Surprise! A third arm. What the heck is with that? Nonetheless, pretty cool. All right, so we've all been there. We've all had our bad days. Well, this gentleman is reading a newspaper with him on the front page. So town clocks are a staple of pretty much every, pro every city. And well, St. John is no different than everybody else. They also have a town clock. Moose are a staple to the Canadian living. Well, not for us in PEI, but you know what? I've never seen a moose in New Brunswick either, but this moose is visible in a highly trafficked area. This is probably my favorite piece of art in Uptown St. John, and it's a clock, as you can see, a clock by the entrance to Market Square. Square here in St. John, where you have the People Moving uh, art installation, which continues on with life size people walking around. All right, so from downtown St. John here, you can just see over the corner of my shoulder, you can just see right around here, right there which is Partridge Island. Now, I'm gonna post a link here so you can go check out my visit to Partridge Island, which was a couple years ago. So definitely check out that video as well. Uh, it's a really cool walk and a really good hike. That being said, since that video, I found out you're not supposed to be on that island. Now just off in the distance, you can see the St. John sign which is up there and it's definitely a cool spot to go check out. I'm not sure if it'd be considered an art installation or not, but definitely uh, check it out. Grab some selfies, very easy to access. And uh, there's a beautiful park right beside it too. So check it out. These two pigeons have been following me everywhere. I kind of think they want to be in the video. So, bye guys. They're not following me now. Give them a minute. Inside Market Square, they always do an amazing job of having different pieces of art on display. It's incredible. Great job, guys. Definitely check out Market Square. There's lots to see here. It's just beautiful. Look up, way up. Outside St. John Market, they have this beautiful piece that's on the top, right beside the clock tower. A great looking piece. And of course, it's right beside the St. John Market, which is open seven days a week. It's here a couple, last year, two years ago. Post a link to it up top 
and add it in the comment section down below. Definitely check it out, the St. John Marco. All right, so that was pretty cool. Jurassic Park, definitely one of my favorite movies. Uh, all of them, I could watch them on repeat the whole time. <laughs> all four of them, I think it is. They're just amazing. All right, so behind me we have the Union Jack. It basically commemorates the separation of New Brunswick from Nova Scotia and Fredericton was deemed the capital pretty much instantly so it's a nice little piece of art in uptown St. John to check out. A couple more pieces of art here outside City Hall which one was when City Hall moved downtown the other in the back is when the last royal visit in 1983. So on top of that, yes, I did change my jacket. It's getting warmer outside. Uptown St. John is full of tons of different art galleries. So definitely take a moment, go check them out. And uh, I always encourage people to look at the local artists and uh, have some fun with it because there's a lot to see here, there's a lot to check out, and it's a very historic place, so enjoy. Enjoy. 